A big single match coming up here. Referee Jerry Calhoun and Lawler's opponent stepping in. He's a big one, Dr. Detroit. I think we've seen him, what, once maybe, seen Dave? Him once on championship yeah. wrestling, yeah. And he, uh, yeah, that's right. He was wrestling as a partner with Phil Hickerson, right. I think, in the only time that we saw him. Uh, he's a big, strong son of a gun, and we're ready for the official announcements. It's a one-fall 15-minute time limit match from Detroit at 252 pounds. It's Dr. Detroit, and going against him from Memphis, Tennessee at 234 pounds, the King, Jerry Lawler. One-fall 15-minute time limit, Jerry Calhoun, the referee. Woge, Dr. Detroit, peeling off his gear as they get ready to go in this one-fall 15-minute time limit bout. Uh, Lawler will be giving away about 20 pounds at least to this guy, and Jerry's in it, uh, at 234. We're ready for the action. No time. And here comes Lawler out of the corner to meet Dr. Detroit. Referee Jerry Calhoun, one fall, 15 minutes. Championship Wrestling. Dave Brown and Lance Russell are right along the ringside as we're looking at the action. Ready to unfold. They're kind of... Uh, Dr. Detroit wants to get right in. <laughs> we'll have to get in the, the test of strength that Lawler <laughs> weighs back. Hi there. <laughs> Tied up, center of the ring. <laughs> Referee calling for a clean break. Lawler gave him the clean break. He was sorry he did. Yeah, Dr. Detroit shoved him down to the mat as Lawler was breaking it, uh, breaking it clean. Detroit trying to tell the referee I thought he was going to hit me and I was just protecting myself. Lawler saying, hey, I'll take care of this. This time the King backs him up in the opposite corner. And again, Jerry was kind of waiting to see what he was going to do, but he waited too long. This Dr. Detroit, some kind of strength Lance mentioned the last time we had him on championship wrestling was with Phil Hickerson, and they were awesome, uh, both of them with their strength. So we've seen what Dr. Detroit can do. Lawler backed into the corner this time by the heavier Dr. Detroit. Oh, zips a right hand at him. I can't believe he's telling the referee <laughs> I didn't hit him. I don't think that's what he said. The well, referee was standing right there looking at him for crying out loud. Yeah, we had three cameras pointed at yeah, him. Yeah, two. Two all four. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh -huh. hey, Lawler didn't hit him either, I don't guess. Uh-uh, no, -uh, no. Nah, nah. Boy, that loosened the mask, I'm sure, as uh, Lawler really let him have back here in this corner after being nailed himself a couple of times by Dr. Detroit. Two minutes, 20 seconds gone in the match. Center of the ring. Now the referee trying to get him to open up their fist as uh, there's been a little slugging on both sides. Now, once again, Dr. Detroit saying, come on, let's, let's show everybody who's the strongest. Ooh, Dr. Detroit, iron grip, he nails him. Jerry down to one knee. Oh, don't count him out yet, friend. I've seen Jerry in this situation before. He's back up now. And bango! That right hand will solve a lot of problems if it's placed in the right position. It does it for Lawler time after time, and it worked that time. about how powerful Dr. Detroit was. Uh, Lawler's got plenty of power himself, especially in that right hand, which, uh, as you say, he's used a good advantage on many occasions. Jerry says, I'm ready to call it quits with a fist. Let's see what Dr. Detroit wants to do. They're back to the center again. <laughs> Dr. Detroit wants the uh, strength test again, asking for support from the crowd. Hands locked. And Lawler, <laughs> Lawler wins. Doesn't learn very quick, does he? No.
Well, that's one thing that's made Jerry such a great competitor. He, uh, he uses his head, and he doesn't mind pulling the stop when they have to be pulled, and, brother, he pounded him out of there. Dr. Detroit says, no, I don't want to do that again. He did learn. He did learn that time. Yes, he did. He ripped him twice right in the nose. Little explanation going with the referee. Come on, let's make it a clean wrestling match. I'm not sure we're going to have that, but uh, he's making his best effort. Oh, boy, I'll tell you what. He really nailed all that. That's twice he caught him in the corner. Put him down. This one with the third right hand. It drops right down upon him. Lawler trying to fight his way back up. Dr. Detroit. He says this is name building time right now. He's got the king in there. And Lawler back up, whips that strap down. Well, we'll see what Dr. Detroit's got to say about this as Lawler comes back with a right hand. Jerry over the shoulder. Now. The referee trying to break him away, but Lawler staying right on top of him. He lifted him about two feet off the mat that time. That elbow pretty decisive, followed by another one. Hey, count it out. What's that? He got him. He blitzed him, whipped him in, finished him off with that uh, elbow, and boy, I'll tell you one thing, he put him down there for a good one. You want to see somebody catch an elbow, take a look at the Dr. Detroit as he is whipped into the ring, and as he comes off of there, Lawler catches him full with that upper arm, part of the shoulder, drops him, comes right down straight across on him, hooks him, and brings him up into a three count. And the winner, Jerry, the king, Lawler, comes through with the victory over Dr. Detroit. Like running into a brick wall as Lawler is firmly planted oh right boy. there. 5.45, the time on it. Okay, we're going to take time out. We've got a big expiration of time tag match coming up here as uh, the Dirty White Boys will be in action with Jimmy Hart in the corner. The referee finally getting Dr. Detroit out, holds Lawler's hand up, and that is all of that match. We'll be back with the tag action match in just a